everyone. Today we are going to be making a lens flare from scratch. Um, as you all know, the basic lens flare that they got in um, GIMP itself is kind of um, yeah. I don't I don't like it. <laughs> it's uh, it's not it's not a cool looking lens flare at all so but anyway so we're gonna make one from scratch this is just a basic lens flare um, it's not very complicated at all it's not very a very complex lens, lens flare um, it's just to show you the basics and to maybe get you your mind rolling on on how you might want to make your own instead of going out there and having to pay for some or or download a bunch you can make your own because I know a lot of the times um, when I need lens flares um, I can't find the ones that I'm looking for uh, I mean you can make all kinds of cool looking lens flares anyways um, let's go ahead and make this one right here so we're gonna go to file new and it's going to be a 3000 by 3000 pixel image press OK let me reset these here and you could go up to edit and fill with foreground color if you'd like or you could click on your bucket fill tool and just click in there whatever you would prefer is totally up to you and we're gonna go ahead and make a new layer and then we're gonna go up to image guides down the guides new guide by percent and we're gonna go 50% horizontally press OK and then we're gonna go back up to image then guides new guide by percent and we're gonna go 50% vertically press OK and then make sure we're clicked on the new layer we're gonna click on our paintbrush and we want a the regular hard brush that comes with GIMP and we're gonna go click on the black color and we're gonna go up here to the gray right here where it says V and we're gonna type in 50 for 50% 50 gray and press enter and press OK and we are going I'm gonna use the right bracket key on my keyboard which is in the right corner um, under the backspace and the backslash and it's right by the backslash key I'm sorry and so if you move the right one it makes it go forward so I'm gonna raise it up to about about right there and that's around 283 84 284 pixels and I'm gonna take my mouse pointer and I am going to go right here in the middle where the guides meet and I'm just gonna press and then I'm gonna make another new layer <laughs> and I'm going to use the left bracket key and I'm going to lower the size of my brush and yeah, lower it down about right there is fine around 110 pixels and I'm just going to click right here and then I'm going to hold down shift and drag over and just eyeball eyeball it and try to line it up and click and there you go we're done no I'm just playing now we're gonna click down on the bottom layer and we're gonna go up to filters blur dodge and blur and we are going to blur this by make sure your chain link is linked we're gonna blur this by 121 pixels for the horizontal and vertical and then we're gonna go and we're gonna click on this top layer and we're gonna go filters and go down to reshow Gaussian blur and let's find that line here just the outside edge and we are gonna blur that by 800 or actually let's uncheck the chain link and make sure it's unchecked and then we're gonna blur this by 800 by 40 and press OK and then we're gonna go down back down to our bottom layer and we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna go back to filters reshow Gaussian blur and we are going to blur this by 
let's do 200 and 40 is fine press OK and that just kinda makes the circle a little bit oval and then we're gonna go ahead and duplicate the top layer now and we're gonna go to filters reshow Gaussian blur and we're gonna blur this by let's see what did I blur this by vertically let's go 55 and press OK and that looks okay to me now let's turn off the background layer and let's right click on the very top layer and click uh, merge visible layers and just click merge turn back on the background layer now to hide the guides let's go control shift T and let's go ahead and duplicate the whole layer and let's click on our scale tool or you could press shift T and for my scale tool I have no guide selected and keep aspect ratio and so we'll just click on the image and we will drag this down to about uh, right there and let's drag it the sides out a little bit and then press scale and let's grab our move tool by pressing M on our keyboard and we can just drag this up if you'd like to do it that way and that looks pretty good to me now we're gonna go ahead and duplicate that one more time and we're gonna press shift T on our keyboard and let's drag the top down even skinnier and then let's try dra uh, drag the sides out about right there and let's press scale and then let's hit M on our keyboard for the move tool and let's press hold shift down on our keyboard and press the up key arrow key on our keyboard and then release it and then let's just place that right there in the middle something like that and then let's turn off the background layer and let's right click and merge visible layers again turn back on the background layer and let's go ahead and go up here to colors and we're gonna go to color balance and we are on the cyans we're gonna go negative 37 and then on the greens we're gonna go positive 4 and then let's click on the shadows and do the same shadow is gonna be negative 37 green positive 4 and then the highlights negative 37 greens positive 4 and you can play around with these colors as you'd like um, this is just the color that I'm going to use for this tutorial here now let's uh, click on the background layer and then uh, create a new layer and let's click on the very top layer let's go to filters and then let's go to uh, Uh, light and shadow I'm sorry and let's click on supernova and let's line this up to about right there and the color that I'm using for this is 2 B C B C B press OK and the radius is 61 and the spokes is 375 and the hue is on 0 press OK <laughs> every time I mess up on this let's control Z that and let's go ahead and click on the new layer I apologize and let's go ahead and repeat supernova and that did not line up right okay so let's go back to filters reshow fil supernova and let's move this over To about 1530 by 1515 let's try that and see what that looks like and there we go that looks pretty good to me right there and then we're gonna just click on the top layer and we are gonna go to filters 
GMIC and we are going to go up to the patterns and click on the patterns and it will drop down and you're going to go down to strip and the angle is 45 the frequency is 70 by 37 phase is at 0 the amplitude is at 1.09 and I have um, the output selected to new layers and let's press apply And that applied let's go ahead and close off of here and let's go ahead and grab our move tool and let's line this up oops control Z that sorry okay here add layer redo supernova redo gmic I apologize. I pressed Control Z too many times. Make sure the top layer is selected, and with our move tool, let's move this into place here. And you could set it to how you want. Just try to line it up right there. And let's grab our crop tool, and let's go ahead and crop this image. press enter and it's cropped and there you go and now we have that that lens flare that I had made over here now I made this one kind of a little bit fatter and if you wanted it uh, skinnier of course when we went through and and duplicated the layers and made them skinnier and skinnier you could squish them down and make them skinnier and expand the sides out to make them longer and stuff um, but th this is a pretty nice lens flare if you ask me now w we could go to um, layer and oops, sorry layer and then click new from visible layer I have mine set to uh, it says shift control alt e but you could go control alt shift e whatever it's the same and it brings up a the whole visible layer on there and you could filters blur, Gaussian blur, make sure this is linked is checked and we could blur it by let's say no that's too much let's go um, by 20 pixels and that just blurs the image a little bit more if you like that effect and like I said you could you could do so many things with this it's not even funny Let's delete that and um, just like when we went to the filters and then um, light and shadows and then the supernova you could play around with this and zoom in here you can make the spokes a bunch of spokes less spokes um, the radius of the glow higher uh, there's all kinds of stuff. If you had watched my previous tutorial, I had showed you um, the packages that I downloaded um, to get all this, these extra plugins for GIMP. Um, there's a bunch here, and it even adds more to like the enhance and distorts and stuff like that. Um, and you could play around. They got this supply lens effect, and you could apply this and and uh, you can make all kinds of neat um, lens flares like I said doing this effect um, you just have to play around with it and it t takes a little while and just expand your mind I just wanted to show you how to make a basic lens flare and how I go about uh, doing it here in GIMP and you could add this lens flare let's see let's I'm not trying to make this go for too long but um, let's see do I have anything that I've previously done that uh, let's see we'll open that and we will control A and then control copy to copy that image and then come over here and control V to paste it and we will click on the new layer to put it on its own layer 
oops let's control Z that and let's make sure that the whole image is selected better yet let's go control alt E or go up here to image or I'm sorry layer new from visible and create a new layer and then let's go control A and then control C and copy the whole thing and then control V on the image and then click the new layer button to put it on its own layer and then let's go ahead and change the mode to screen and let's go ahead and press shift T to scale this down and we will scale this down to let's reset this and let's uh, go divide it by 2 and press enter and uh, if you guys did not know that you could do that let's reset that you could go um, press the star key which is times 2 and press enter and that will raise that up but 3,000 times 2 is 6,000 or you could let's reset that you could divide it by 2 so 3,000 divided by 2 is 1,500 or you can minus it plus it but that is a cool little trick to scale it down quickly so let's press scale I just scale it in half press M on our keyboard make sure move active layer is selected and there are, is our lens flare and like I said, it don't go with this image. But you could see, and if you can't see, there are some hard edges on here. And if you want to fix your hard edges, all you need to go is to colors and then levels. And then take the black channel and move it down until them hard edges go away and the hard edges went away and then we just press OK and then press M on our keyboard grab the move tool back and then you can move this lens flare anywhere you'd like and you can make lens flares however you would like like I said that was just to an example to expand your mind on how to make one and from scratch and to get it from that ugly lens flare that they got in GIMP uh, I just th that is I don't know I don't know that is I wish they would do something with this ugly old thing here I wish they'd give us more tools to change this um, not to bring up Photoshop or anything or down GIMP at all but Photoshop has uh, some cool tools to make some some really nice lens flares and I wish they would they would um, go ahead and fix that up here in GIMP maybe they will someday but anyways that's that that is I don't know that is that's just ugly I don't know I don't like it it's ugly 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 and you could I mean you could do some things like like that and try to set that in the middle and and uh, try to play around with the uh, maybe the color balance or something and change that I don't know. You could do whatever you'd like um, to try to change that. I mean, you could use them, and and uh, you could use that, and then change it up, and and uh, mess with the hue and saturation on it, and and uh, all that kind of stuff, and desaturate it some, make it more saturated. I don't know. It's totally up to you on what you would like to do. Um, but from scratch that is how you make a basic lens flare and you can just do countless of other stuff with it if you'd like 
that is it for today. I just wanted to bring up how to make a lens flare from scratch and show you show you guys. So sorry for rambling on here at the end. I don't mean to, but I I just I guess it's a force of habit to me. So anyways, if you like the tutorial, please like and subscribe. There will be tons of more tutorials to come. Um, watch my previous tutorials. There's a bunch. There's there's quite a few out there um, to teach you different things and stuff like that. I appreciate it and have a good day.